probably wanted to stand on a soapbox. I didn't think I'd get to do it in a hangar. But I just want to extend a very, very warm welcome to everybody here. Who would have thought you'd be drinking Captain Morgan at 10 a.m.? Thank you to this gentleman over here. He said that all he wants is a celebration one day is for everybody to have a Captain Morgan and a Bully Roll. But I've just got the privilege and opportunity of really saying thank you in celebrating Ian's life with all of you today. So my name is Janine. I've been asked on behalf of the family to keep it simple, to keep it short, because we really just want to celebrate Ian. I have had a friendship for the past 25 years with this family, and in particular with Ian, for the last 16. Ian had many, many, many loves, from the aviation industry to biking, hence the reason we're all here today with bikers and members from the aviation industry. And in terms of the aviation industry, I want to extend a massive, massive thank you to the gentlemen at Rand Airport that have allowed this to be possible, allowed us to bring the bikes in, in celebrating Ian. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Henny Delcourt, Gertrude Richard Parler, and in particular Anna, who's really been really instrumental in getting this together. So Ian had many, many passions that he really pursued with great gusto and great passion. Some of those were developed during this time at Michael House where he was educated, and others through the daily encounters that he experienced. Today we get to share with him as we bring a couple of those passions together, as I said, aviation, biking, and the lodge. Ian was never a pilot, but he had an absolute dream to be a pilot. Hence, he bought this flying school. So to you, Anna, all of the students, both past and present, that have joined us today, thank you for making Ian's dream come true. We have the privilege today, which is exclusive to very few, of a Harvard flyover. The Harvards are going to fly from the Germiston Lake towards us and do a couple of formations in honour of Ian. An honour very few get, which just shows the extent of this man. And I think the hugest, hugest, proudest moment in round of applause actually needs to go to Ancha for getting on her bike this morning. And I think that's the biggest, proudest moment. I know that even if he'd up front marshalling, he was on the ride and was quite odd that he didn't jump off his bike with all his rings and chains and all the paraphernalia that he would always wear when he'd go riding. But I know that he would have been up front or he would have been at the back sweeping, making sure nobody got left behind. That was up. Yeah. Ian's humility, his principles, his kindness and his care led him to join the Freemasons, where he could add even more value to other people's lives. So I want to thank everybody who's here from the various lodges that Ian got to spend time with and those that are here today. Thank you for the work that you've done and the opportunity he had to share his heart with all of you in the community. To the many friends that Ian has attracted through his 35 year career at ShopRite Checkers, which spanned many, many countries, as he was just a big bean salesman, he used to always say to everybody, I just sell big beans. <laughs> but he was so much more than that. Thank you for making the effort to be here. I know some of you have traveled from the Cape and from all over to join us here today. Ian had many, many, many loves in his life. But by far the greatest was Anja and the family. I have witnessed and I've been privileged to witness for the last year living with Ian and Anja the dedication and commitment of this family. And I want to say the way the family in the last, since the 24th of February, have pulled together, rallied around, and rallied around together in making this the best possible celebration for Ian. He would have been so proud. He would often say, these baby kids, you know how parents talk about their teenage children. They can't walk around and anything. think, look at their lives sometimes. We'd have those conversations. But Ian, I want to tell you, you will be so proud. They pulled together and they have made stuff happen. And that really comes from the lessons that he taught them. So I really, really hope, family, that through your loss, 
and Ian being so proud that you continue to keep him the center of your family space as he has become. And that goes to Brent in the Bahamas who couldn't be with us today. He was only able to get him a week off and join the family at a very intimate memorial last weekend in Motherly Wear. This is the second celebration and there will be a third intimate family celebration happening in Nasna because of Ian's other love, which was the ocean and yachting. So he's made damn sure that we are celebrating for weeks in his honor. So to my friend Ancha, Ian loved you more than you will ever know. What I have to share with you, living with him, I would see Ian would often come down in the morning earlier than Ancha. She would gracefully come down the stairs and every single morning he would tell her how stunning she looked. You are beautiful, you are gorgeous, I love you. Another testament to that, and I don't know how many people do this, every single time they greeted each other or one person left or came home, they didn't just kiss each other once. They've got this like three-time kiss, just in case you didn't realize on the first one how much I loved you. I found that fascinating, I would watch. So, your three kisses, we always wanted you to have the strongest wings to continue flying. And I know that you will. What you did today was testament to that. You're so proud. I want you to continue flying because, my friend, this is your time. And Ian undeniably left a sprinkling of his DNA in every single one of us somehow. He really, really did. His wisdom and his knowledge, he just seemed to know everything. He wasn't a topic he couldn't sit down and discuss with him. And I know that's going to be sorely missed. So as we move outside and watch the fly pass, I want to ask you to raise your glasses and celebrate the time that we had with Ian. All of you have your own personal experiences, and I ask you to celebrate that when we watch the fly pass and the missing man take place. Thank you, thank you on behalf of the family for being here and celebrating Ian's life with us. Thank you very much. Yeah.